Hey guys, how you doing? My first ever YouTube video. And today, we're in St. David's, Pembrokeshire. So sunset isn't till half past nine. It is now quarter past four. I'm a little bit early, but it's a beautiful day. Dog's loving it. And uh, it's nice to have a couple of hours, pressure free, just to wander around, taking the views, see what else we can find. Look at that, it's just beautiful. We're gonna head down there now, see what we can get with them rocks in the foreground, perhaps. Um, but yeah. Plenty, plenty to do around here, it's absolutely stunning. So I found a little shop really really bright so I've had to use um, an ND8 to get the exposure down. I'm trying to get a bit of movement in the water. Um, it's still very very bright even with the polarizer. I am shooting at a fourth of a second so hopefully with the cable release and on the tripod we should be getting a bit of movement in the water and um, the waves that it's quite a lot of movement in the waves so it's uh, just a case of waiting for the biggest wave to come around like oh, this one without getting wet. <laughs> All right, this looks good. Looks good. It's not the rock I want. <laughs> this is good, isn't it? Yes. I think I should be happy with a few of them. That look good. I found another little spot. This has got a lovely rock covered in green mossy grass in front of me. You can just see it about getting soaked, which I think will make it awesome foreground subject and then I'm just waiting for the waves to just like that catch the back of that main rock there. It takes about a 20 second break between the big waves. What's going on? What are they doing? So that went okay. Um, not quite the shot I had in mind but um, killed a bit of time. It was good fun. Didn't get wet or anything which is a change. Um, yeah. Maybe you got something out of it, I don't know, we'll have a look. Let me know what you think. cliff jumping this would be the place to go look at that fantastic drop just down there on that ledge the sea looks really calm as well it's, it's, it's unbelievable obviously if i didn't have the dog i'd be straight in I promise These are lovely lines, these are running out into the sea there, right out, meeting into that headland over there on the side. Absolutely fantastic. It's a shame the sun is over there. It would have been lovely if it was bang in the middle there. Might have to come back for that one. So this might be a nice shot. Um, we've got wide angle lens, so it'll catch that headland running out there and over there. And then you've got these lines going straight into the middle. Um, I'm using the ND8 again. Uh, F18, ISO 200 at two fifths of a second. I'm gonna bracket that and um, see how that comes out. So the three images will have really underexposed, overexposed, and wonder for the sky. Should be able to make some of them three, I think. Well done. I think that worked out really well. 
Um, I was a bit worried, but um, I might hang around a bit because that cloud is absolutely beautiful. Um, but I am a bit worried about getting over them rocks. I think it might be time to call it a day. And yeah, that, that, that works out really, really nice. Beautiful place. Ready, Pop? Ready? Come on then. Right then, bad news is up there. I know, I'm not joking. Come on then. I cannot believe the sunset I'm leaving behind me. Incredible. Absolutely beautiful. Um, well, that is it, the end of my first ever landscape video. Um, hopefully be a lot more frequent now that I finally found the confidence to do it. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it, hope you've picked up something, I hope you've learned something. Um, I'm happy for people to criticise and comment and add their, uh, their opinions to the, to the video, that's, that's more than fine with me. Be, uh, be free to, uh, to like and uh, send me a message and subscribe. Thank you.